Let's have a look at a few examples of deep root plants. Roots bring nutrients to the plant, and a lot of the surface layers of soil on our planet have been farmed for so long now that the nutrient levels are very depleted. Deep-rooted plants mine essential trace elements from deep in the subsoil and bring these to the surface. Growing the right deep-rooted plants helps us get the maximum nutritional value out of our soils. Plant with deepest roots. Ever wondered about a plant with the deepest roots? We all know that several trees probe deep into the earth in search of water and nutrients that are not easily accessible at the surface. These plant roots can penetrate cracks in rocks and travel hundreds of feet below to satisfy their search. An aspect to consider is the depth of plant roots, as according to the species you're growing and the conditions of the soil, this growth can vary. This is because individual plants behave differently during climate change. While some are hardy and adapt easily, others do not, even if their roots have the potential to delve deep into the earth. When it comes to plants that have the deepest roots, the shepherd's tree is number one. This plant is documented as the species with the deepest roots, with a more than 70-meter depth. Known by its scientific name Basha albatrunca, this tree is a Kalahari desert native. The depth of shepherd's tree roots was discovered by a groundwater well dillers that stumbled upon them accidentally. How have our soils become dead? Copper and many other minerals are showing declines in availability in soils. Nowadays if you bite an apple, you can leave it and come back a day later and it still has not oxidized. There is a recorded decline in nutrients in apples over the past few decades. This may be due to the depletion of soils, or it may be due to things we put in the soil, such as herbicides binding these minerals. In many cases, it is due to poor land management and people not growing plants with deep roots to bring nutrients from the subsoil to the surface and replenish the soil. Examples of deep-rooted plants Let us go through this list of magical mineral lifters. Example 1, Comfrey. Comfrey has roots that extend 2 meters into the soil. This plant brings trace elements to the surface in abundance. It also brings phosphates, potassium, calcium, iron, and other macronutrients to the surface. When we talk about examples of deep-rooted plants you cannot get much better than comfrey. Example 2, Kale. Kale is an amazing example of a deep-rooted plant. Depending on where you are in the world this thing can be a perennial. The plants get long stems with time, and the stems produce branches that branch off the main stem. If you cut these and place them in the ground they grow. Example 3. Alfalfa slash lucerne. This is the king of deep-rooted things you can grow in your garden to bring nutrients to the surface. Alfalfa roots can extend over 20 feet into the soil and subsoil. This is somewhere between a plant and a mineral mine. As far as examples of deep-rooted plants go, alfalfa is an excellent one and is a legume. Not only does the plant have deep roots, but the roots in the top few feet of soil will also develop nodes containing bacteria that fix nitrogen. Alfalfa sources phosphate and potassium from the subsoil and it fixes atmospheric nitrogen in its root nodules. The plant is in essence a natural fertilizer factory. Can I grow deep-rooted plants in pots? Deeper pots work better for all three types, and they will thrive in a pot. You will need to feed them with a decent slow-release plant food. Cooking eggshells in the oven and placing these in potted kale plants helps. A bit of wood ash sprinkled on the top of the soil in kale pots also appears to make the leaves taste great. Shrubs with deep roots. When it comes to shrubs with deep roots, you would be surprised to know that these plants work well to stabilize the soil and control erosion. If you have to look at shrubs like sumac and forsythia, which have intertwined deep roots, these kinds are known to diffuse heavy rainfall. Shrubs with deep roots are also great in unfavorable growing conditions as they are quite hardy. Most of them are disease-resistant and drought-tolerant, which is an additional advantage to gardeners. Examples of deep-rooted shrubs Forsythia slash Golden Bell Golden Bell is a deciduous flowering shrub that has a tenacious root system to control soil erosion. 
This beautiful plant is also deer resistant and drought tolerant and is easy to maintain and grow. It is a rapidly growing ground cover that works well in sloppy areas and thrives in both sunny and shaded locations. The plant grows to a height of about 11 feet tall and bears brightly colored yellow blooms in season. This plant is low maintenance and does not necessarily require pruning. Therefore, when it comes to flowers with deep roots, Forsythia is amongst the most sought after. Cotoneaster horizontalis slash rock spray cotoneaster. The rock spray cotoneaster is simple to grow and maintain as it is quite hardy. It is a deep rooted shrub that roots every time the branches come into contact with the earth. Pruning this shrub is necessary especially if you want to maintain its size. If not, then you can expect the rock spray shrub to spread continuously. When growing this plant, you can expect gorgeous pale pink blooms in the springtime, a splash of glossy foliage in the summer, golden leaves during the fall season, and the sight of red berries in winter. Deep-rooted perennials. You can choose to grow in your garden with several deep-rooted perennials. These low-maintenance plants are known to thrive in soil that is relatively poor and produce an astounding amount of biomass. This is one of the main benefits of growing perennials with deep roots because they improve soil quality by a large margin. Plants with taproots that delve deep into the soil also aid in the disintegration of subsoil that has hardened. These plants also store nutrients in their tissues, which is beneficial to other plants if left to decompose after cutting. The cuttings are especially beneficial as mulch, as nutrients are readily available to the plants that have access to it. Examples of deep-rooted perennials. Symphodum officinal slash comfrey. Comfrey plants are perennials that are known as the best soil builders. This is because these two feet tall perennials have an extremely deep rooting system that is notorious for delving more than six feet into the ground. The plant foliage is concentrated with essential nutrients as the roots mine the subsoil in search of essential elements. For other garden plants, the type of nutrients retrieved by the comfort plant is not easily available to them because of their limited root system. If you're growing this useful perennial, then you can expect an abundance of biomass in a few months. Established plants can also be pruned to the ground because of their rapid regrowth. Propagating comfer from root cuttings is easy, especially if you fall under USDA Zone 3 through 9. Polonia tomentosa slash empress tree. The empress tree is a deep-rooted perennial with very large heart-shaped flowers and eye-catching purple blooms. This gorgeous plant can grow to a height of more than 40 feet when unpruned. However, you can trim it now and then to maintain the desired size that you prefer. The plant leaves that emerge as new shoots produce leaves that are even bigger after pruning to ground level. These leaves are very useful to the compost pile as they are rich in nutrients because of their deep rooting system and ability to store unreachable components effectively. The empress tree grows best in USDA zones 5 through 9, while saplings can be easily acquired online. Conclusion we hope these examples of deep-rooted plants help you understand how we use these plants to bring nutrients to the surface for our other more shallow-rooted plants. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.